What's up, everybody? Yeah, happy Woo. to have you guys here at Digi Project. We're so happy about mm. this instrument, the chromatic mallet harp, which you just got to hear. I'm so lucky to have my two very talented musician friends here, Adrian Di Matteo and Michael Fisher. These guys spent a lot of time studying jazz and a lot of other styles of music, and we all play together in Dream Seed as well. We have some new music coming out soon. Stay tuned for that. But this video is about this instrument here and the awesome music that I got to play with these guys. But this is the chromatic mallet harp. It is a 12 tone instrument, meaning it has all the notes laid out just like a piano, all the notes in the Western system. Uh, this particular one is the 32 note model. So this one's larger. You may have seen our other video, I'll put a link to, you know, up here. So I got to play with you guys and you guys have play played a lot with me recently playing this instrument. Like we actually jam a lot outside of these videos and this has kind of become one of the main things that I play when we're playing chord changes and stuff and I have a background in piano Mike is actually better jazz pianist than I am and Adrian studied jazz guitar for you know at a college level for many many years and he's still you know pursuing it so I want to hear from you guys what's it like to play along with this instrument and you know I think that one thing that I just want to mention before I get over to you guys is like the sustain on this thing um, you play a note and it lasts a good long amount of time and so it creates this really nice vibe so you know what's it like being in the pocket as a guitarist as a bassist and playing along and other instruments that you guys play because you guys play a lot of other instruments too yeah well this thing's awesome i mean i remember when before you just had the pentatonic version of this instrument and having the fully chromatic version just opens up everything there's no song that escapes the reaches of this chromatic instrument because the 12 notes that he mentioned are really like the alphabet of music and it's not just in the west but all over the world music from pretty much every culture you can think of uses this vocabulary so any chord can be made any scale can be made it's super flexible so a lot of the other instruments have just five or six notes, maybe some doubled notes, but here you get multiple octaves of all 12, and the flexibility of that just speaks for itself. So today we were able to play a chord progression that you just can't play on any of the other models. We had C sharps in there, F sharp, G sharp, and chords that were moving from natural notes to sharp notes and back, so. Um, but just in terms of the sound of the instrument, I love playing with it. It has a really soft, warm tone, which complements the guitar really well and just a very lush texture that the instrument creates, so it's always a joy for me to hear it. I like the instrument because it sounds, it has a happy sound and it's also super versatile. 
um, it goes good with like we were playing kind of a rhythm and blues type thing so it kind of has that AJ and the Miracles kind of uh, vibe <laughs> and also it has like you can use it for sound healing because it has such a nice pleasant tone so it has a lot of ways that you could use it it also reminds me of kind of a smaller version of a vibraphone which you know people who play vibraphone sometimes carry around a huge thing and this you can basically yeah. put it in a guitar case and it sounds almost like a vibraphone so yeah, I, cool. I remember seeing some vibraphonists uh, going around New York City and like you have to get an SUV minimum to transport that thing or a minivan. Whereas this, you know, I usually put this in a guitar case or two guitar cases and I just can strap one on my back, hold the other one in one hand. And it's like I can walk with this thing. I can take it places. And also one other difference between the vibraphone is that the vibraphone has motors running. This is a completely acoustic instrument. There's no electronics. I don't need to plug anything in. And it has that natural reverb yeah and you know you could think of this more like a piano or a xylophone the tones are very angelic so maybe it's coming kind of from that sort of feeling that you get from the instrument that it's very harp like but I think you could just put these in a piano case if you got a big enough piano case next to next to each other you could just fit the whole thing in one case I'm sure there's different um, different keyboard cases. case a keyboard case yeah, yeah. so uh, very portable lightweight durable super strong instrument like children love this instrument young yeah, toddlers oh, yeah. will pick up the mallets and just bang yeah. on it and you're not going to have to worry about the instrument breaking and it's a really good kind of musical bonding experience you can have with a baby or a toddler um, it's just very friendly that way and one great thing for kids specifically is like this is two pieces so you have your top shelf here and your bottom shelf here this is like the black notes on a piano and you have them it's just a pentatonic scale so if you just give this to some kids there's there's like no wrong notes it's it all sounds good same with this this is a diatonic scale so this is c major or a minor So I started on A, but if I start on C, it's a major scale that you all know and are familiar with. So, you know, you can split this up and give just one to someone and they can also have a lot of fun with it. You know, I do a lot of music production and recording and a lot of times I'm looking for a sound to just sprinkle into the texture somewhere that's going to bring out a color at a certain moment or lend some character that's gonna just make it unique. And if you're doing music production, hip hop production, electronic music, this instrument is a great tool to have in the studio as a recording artist because it has a very unique sound to begin with, but then the whole world that you can unlock through modifying it with effects and different types of filters and things, this is a, a really unique sound that's gonna lend something special to the music that you're making. So if you're looking for an acoustic instrument that you can play along with pretty much any chord changes that has a really wonderful sound, highly recommend the chromatic mallet harp. We have this one in the 32 note model. The 25 note model is a little bit narrower. Check out the other video to see that one. And uh, any last comments from you, Mike, about using this? I know you've gotten to play it too. I love you know? playing it too, yeah. Um, if you're a keyboard player, and you want to explore some mallets, this is a great way to do it, yeah. It's pretty loud as well because we both are amplified right now, and so even with amplified guitars, the instrument holds its own without needing a microphone or a speaker. You could put it through a live system like that if you wanted to use it louder, but it has great presence. The sound is very warm and full, and it just fills space, so it stands on its own even with electronic instruments. Thank you guys. You can pick up the Chromatic Mallet Harp as well as our other Mallet Harp models in the Ditch Project store. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and we will see you in the next one. Peace! Peace.